Greetings and God bless you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. The Holy Spirit has guided you to this video today because our loving Heavenly Father wants to reveal the extraordinary ways in which He is about to bring an end to your hard times. In the midst of trials and tribulations, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and wonder if God has forgotten us. But the truth is, our God is always at work behind the scenes, orchestrating every detail of our lives to align with His divine purpose and plan. In this video, we'll explore 10 powerful ways that God is actively working to bring an end to your struggles and usher in a new season of joy, peace, and abundance. Through the truth of His Word and the inspiring testimonies of those who have experienced His faithful deliverance, you'll discover the unshakable hope and unwavering faith that come from knowing that the Creator of the universe is intimately involved in your life. When we choose to trust in God's sovereignty and believe in His unfailing love, we can rest in the assurance that He is working all things together for our good and His glory. He is the God who hears every prayer, sees every tear, and knows the deepest desires of our hearts. So if you've been feeling weary in your struggles, discouraged by your circumstances, or uncertain of God's plans, this video is for you. And please don't keep this message of hope to yourself. Share this video with those you know who may be in need of a powerful reminder of God's faithfulness and His unwavering commitment to delivering us from our hardships. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, leave a comment below, and give this video a like to help spread this encouraging message to even more people who need to hear it. Together, we can build each other's faith, declaring God's goodness and trusting in His perfect timing. May the Lord bless you abundantly as you continue to trust in Him, knowing that He is about to bring an end to your hard times. Remember, God is the sovereign ruler of the universe, and He is using every moment of your struggles to shape you into the person He created you to be. Keep holding on to His promises, believing that He is faithful and true, and He will continue to reveal His hand in your life in amazing ways. Number 1. When life seems to be at its darkest, and you feel trapped in a never-ending cycle of hardship, take heart in knowing that God is working tirelessly behind the scenes to create new paths and opportunities for you. Just as He did for Joseph in the book of Genesis, God has a plan to lead you out of your current struggles and into a brighter, more prosperous future. Joseph's story is a powerful reminder that God's timing is perfect, even when we can't see the bigger picture. Despite being sold into slavery by his own brothers and wrongfully imprisoned, Joseph never lost faith in God's plan for his life. Through every trial and setback, he remained steadfast in his belief that God would deliver him from his hardships and use his experiences for a greater purpose. And that's exactly what happened. After years of suffering and uncertainty, God opened a door for Joseph that he never could have imagined. He was suddenly elevated from a lowly prisoner to the second in command of all of Egypt, responsible for overseeing the nation's food supply during a severe famine. God had been preparing Joseph all along for this crucial role, and when the time was right, he made a way where there seemed to be no way. The same is true for you, dear friend. No matter how dire your circumstances may seem, God is always at work orchestrating events and circumstances to lead you to the place He has prepared for you. He sees the bigger picture that we cannot, and He knows exactly what experiences and challenges you need to face in order to grow into the person He has called you to be. So when you feel stuck in your current situation, don't lose hope. Trust that God is working behind the scenes to create new paths and opportunities for you. He is the master of turning our struggles into stepping stones, our failures into foundations for success. Just like He did for Joseph, God will open doors that you never even knew existed, leading you to new places of growth, purpose, and fulfillment. It may not happen overnight, and the journey may not be easy. But hold fast to the promise that God will never leave you or forsake you. He is with you every step of the way, guiding you, strengthening you, and preparing you for the incredible plans he has in store. So keep pressing forward even when the road ahead seems uncertain. 
Keep trusting in God's goodness and faithfulness, even when your circumstances tempt you to doubt. And keep watching for those unexpected doors of opportunity, knowing that God is working all things together for your good and His glory. Your breakthrough is coming, dear friend. God is about to do a new thing in your life, and it will be greater than anything you could have ever imagined. Just like Joseph, you will look back on this season of hardship and see how God was using it all along to prepare you for the incredible future He has planned. So take heart and hold on to hope. Your hard times are coming to an end, and a new chapter of joy, abundance, and purpose is about to unfold. Trust in God's perfect timing and plan, and get ready to step through the door He is opening just for you. Number 2. In the midst of your hardships, take heart and trust that God is working behind the scenes to bring divine connections into your life. These are the people who will stand by your side, uplift your spirit, and provide the guidance you need to overcome your challenges. Remember the story of Elijah and the widow of Zarephath in 1 Kings 17. During a severe famine, God directed Elijah to this widow, who was facing her own struggles. Despite her limited resources, she obediently provided for Elijah, and in return, God miraculously sustained her and her son throughout the famine. This beautiful story demonstrates how God strategically places people in our lives to support and encourage us during our darkest moments. Just as God sent Elijah to the widow, he will send the right people to you at the perfect time. These divine connections may come in the form of a caring friend who listens without judgment, a wise mentor who offers invaluable advice, or even a stranger whose kind words resonate deeply within your soul. Each person is a gift from God, carefully chosen to help you navigate the rough waters of your current circumstances. These divine connections will remind you that you are not alone in your struggles. They will be the ones who pray with you, cry with you, and celebrate with you. They will help you see your situation from a fresh perspective, offering hope and encouragement when you feel like giving up. Through their presence, you will tangibly experience God's love and provision, even in the midst of your hardships. As you forge these God-given relationships, be open to the wisdom and guidance they offer. Allow their faith to strengthen yours, and let their testimonies of God's faithfulness inspire you to keep pressing forward. Together, you will witness how God can turn your trials into triumphs and your pain into purpose. So, trust in the Lord and have faith that He is orchestrating divine connections in your life. Embrace the people He sends your way, knowing that they are part of His plan to guide you through this challenging season. As you lean on their support and allow God to work through them, you will find the strength courage and wisdom you need to overcome your hardships and emerge victorious on the other side. Remember, you are never alone in your struggles. God is with you every step of the way, and He is sending the right people to stand by your side. Hold fast to the promise in Isaiah 41.10, which says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Trust in His divine connections, and watch as He transforms your hardships into a beautiful testimony of His grace and provision. Number 3. God will bestow upon you a supernatural strength to overcome every challenge you face. When you feel weak, exhausted, and overwhelmed by the trials and tribulations of life, God will infuse you with His divine power enabling you to rise above your circumstances and emerge victorious. Just as God empowered Samson, the mighty judge of Israel, to defeat his enemies with extraordinary strength, he will grant you the same resilience and fortitude to conquer any obstacle that stands in your way. Samson's story in the book of Judges serves as a powerful reminder that when we rely on God's strength, no force on earth can prevail against us. In your moments of weakness, when you feel like you can't take another step, remember that God's strength is made perfect in our weakness. It is in these very moments that God's power shines through most brilliantly, as He fills you with a strength that surpasses human understanding. 
you will find yourself able to endure trials, overcome temptations, and persevere through the darkest of valleys, all because of the supernatural strength God provides. As you face the challenges of each day, cling to the promise found in Isaiah 40, 29, which declares, He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. When you feel like you have nothing left to give, God will renew your strength, enabling you to soar on wings like eagles, run and not grow weary, walk and not faint. His strength will sustain you, empowering you to accomplish more than you ever thought possible. So, when the weight of your hardships threatens to crush your spirit, remember that you are not alone in this battle. The same God who strengthened Samson to defeat his enemies is fighting for you, pouring his supernatural strength into your very being. Embrace this divine power and let it flow through every aspect of your life, knowing that with God's strength, you will overcome every obstacle and emerge stronger than ever before. As you trust in God's supernatural strength, you will find yourself filled with a newfound courage and determination. You will face each day with confidence, knowing that no matter what challenges lie ahead, God's strength will carry you through. So, rise up, dear friend, and let the supernatural strength of God be your anchor in the storms of life, propelling you forward into a future filled with hope, victory, and unshakable faith. Number four. Dear beloved, take heart and know that God will provide for your every need, even in the midst of the most challenging times. As it says in Philippians 4.19, And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. This is a powerful promise that we can cling to with unwavering faith. Throughout the Bible, we see countless examples of God's faithfulness in providing for his children. One of the most remarkable instances is when God provided manna for the Israelites as they wandered in the wilderness. Day after day, God rained down this miraculous bread from heaven, ensuring that his people had sustenance for their journey. Each morning, they would awake to find the ground covered with manna, a tangible reminder of God's love and care. Just as God provided for the Israelites, he will provide for you. He knows your every need before you even ask, and he delights in meeting those needs according to his glorious riches. Whether you are facing financial hardship, struggling to put food on the table, or wondering how you will make ends meet, God is there, ready to supply all that you require. It's important to remember that God's provision often comes in unexpected ways. It may not always look like what we anticipate or come in the form we expect, but we can trust that God's ways are higher than our ways. He sees the bigger picture and knows exactly what we need to sustain us and help us grow in our faith. As you navigate these challenging times, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Trust in his goodness, knowing that he will never leave you or forsake you. Just as a loving father provides for his children, your Heavenly Father will provide for you with boundless love and generosity. So take comfort in the knowledge that God is your provider. He is the one who will supply all your needs according to His riches in glory. Lean into His promises, trust in His faithfulness, and watch as He works in your life in amazing ways. Remember, you are never alone, and God's provision is always more than enough. As you go through your day, meditate on the words of Jesus in Matthew 6, 31, 33. Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Let this truth sink deep into your heart, and allow it to fill you with peace and assurance. God will provide for your needs, just as he has promised. Trust in him, seek his kingdom first, and watch as he pours out his blessings upon you in abundance. Number five, in the midst of your struggles and hardships, take heart and find comfort in knowing that God will bestow upon you the wisdom and direction you need to navigate through these challenging times. Just as he granted Solomon the wisdom to lead his people with discernment and understanding, God will also guide you in making the right decisions and choosing the best path forward. 
When you find yourself at a crossroads, unsure of which way to turn, trust in the Lord and lean on His infinite wisdom. James 1.5 reminds us, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. God is always ready and willing to impart His wisdom to those who seek it with a sincere heart. As you face difficult choices and seemingly insurmountable obstacles, remember that God sees the bigger picture. He knows the end from the beginning and has a plan for your life that surpasses your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5-6 encourages us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. When you submit your decisions to God and trust in His guidance, He will illuminate the path before you. He will give you the clarity and discernment you need to make choices that align with His will and purpose for your life. Even in the darkest of times, God's wisdom will be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. Just as Solomon sought God's wisdom above all else, make it your priority to seek God's counsel in every decision you face. Spend time in prayer, asking for His guidance and direction. Immerse yourself in His Word, allowing the truths of Scripture to shape your thoughts and actions. As you do so, God will grant you the wisdom you need to navigate the challenges before you. Remember, God's wisdom is not like the wisdom of this world. It is pure, peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial, and sincere. When you rely on God's wisdom, you can have confidence that the decisions you make will be rooted in righteousness and aligned with His perfect will. So take heart, dear friend. In the midst of your hard times, know that God is with you, ready to grant you the wisdom and direction you need. Trust in His guidance, seek His counsel, and watch as He leads you through the storms of life and into the abundant blessings He has in store for you. With God's wisdom as your anchor, you will overcome every obstacle and emerge stronger, wiser, and more deeply rooted in His love. Number six, no matter what trials and tribulations you may be facing, know that our loving God has the power to turn your mourning into dancing and transform your sorrow into joy. Throughout the Bible, we see countless examples of how God takes the heartaches and struggles of His faithful servants and turns them into incredible blessings and reasons to celebrate. One such example is the story of Hannah, found in 1 Samuel chapter 1. Hannah was a devout woman who deeply desired to have a child, but she faced the painful reality of barrenness. Year after year, she would go to the temple and pour out her heart to God pleading with him to grant her a son. Despite the ridicule and taunts from her rival Panina, Hannah never lost faith in God's ability to answer her prayers. In her darkest moments, Hannah cried out to the Lord, and he heard her cries. God saw the sincerity of her heart and the depth of her faith, and he chose to bless her in a miraculous way. He opened her womb and granted her the desire of her heart, a precious son whom she named Samuel which means heard by God. Hannah's story is a beautiful reminder that no matter how long we may have been waiting or how impossible our situation may seem, God has the power to turn our mourning into dancing. He can take our deepest sorrows and transform them into unimaginable joy. Perhaps you find yourself in a season of barrenness today, whether it be in your relationships, your career, or your spiritual life. Maybe you've been praying for years for a breakthrough and you feel like giving up hope, but I want to encourage you to hold fast to your faith, just like Hannah did. Keep bringing your requests before the Lord and trust that He hears every prayer. Believe that He is working behind the scenes even when you can't see it. Have confidence that at the appointed time, God will open the floodgates of heaven and pour out His blessings upon you. Remember, our God is a God of redemption and restoration. He specializes in taking the broken pieces of our lives and creating something beautiful out of them. Just as He turned Hannah's barrenness into a blessing, He can take your pain and turn it into praise. So today, lift up your head and let hope arise in your heart. 
Don't allow the enemy to steal your joy or your faith. Stand firm on the promises of God, knowing that He is faithful and true. Believe that the same God who turned Hannah's mourning into dancing is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than you could ever ask or imagine in your own life. Trust that your season of weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. Hold fast to the truth that God is working all things together for your good and His glory. And when your breakthrough comes, don't forget to give Him all the praise and honor, just as Hannah did. May the God of all comfort fill your heart with peace, strength, and unwavering faith as you wait upon Him. Remember, your mourning will not last forever. Your dancing days are coming, and they will be filled with unspeakable joy and gratitude for all that God has done in your life. Number 7. When you face opposition and adversity, God Himself will fight your battles, just as He did for the Israelites against their enemies in the book of Exodus. Remember the story of the Israelites, who found themselves trapped between the vast Red Sea and the approaching Egyptian army. They were filled with fear and doubt. But Moses, their leader, stood firm in his faith and declared, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. And true to his promise, God fought for the Israelites. He parted the Red Sea, allowing them to cross on dry ground, and then brought the waters crashing down upon the pursuing Egyptians, destroying their army and delivering his people from their oppressors. In the same way, God will go before you in your own battles. He sees the challenges you face, the obstacles that seem insurmountable, and the enemies that seek to bring you down. But just as He did for the Israelites, God will be your shield and your strength. He will clear the path ahead of you and give you the victory you need. Your part is to trust in Him, to stand firm in your faith, and to believe that He is working on your behalf even when you cannot see it. As you pray and seek His guidance, God will direct your steps and give you the wisdom and courage you need to overcome every challenge. Remember, you are not alone in this fight. God is with you every step of the way, and He has promised to never leave you nor forsake you. He is your rock, your fortress, and your deliverer. When you feel weak, He will be your strength. When you are afraid, He will be your courage. When you are lost, He will be your guide. So take heart, dear friend, and know that God is fighting for you. He is your defender and your protector, and He will give you the victory you need. Trust in Him, lean on His strength, and watch as He works mightily on your behalf. Your hard times will not last forever, for God is with you, and He will bring you through to the other side, just as He did for the Israelites. As you face your battles, remember the words of the Apostle Paul, who declared, If God is for us, who can be against us? With God on your side, you are more than a conqueror, and nothing can separate you from His love and His power. So stand firm in your faith, trust in God's unfailing love and protection, and know that He will fight your battles and give you the victory you need. Your hard times will soon come to an end, and you will emerge stronger, wiser, and more faith-filled than ever before. God is with you, and He will never let you down. Number 8. Dear friend, if you're going through hard times and feeling like you've lost so much, I want to encourage you with the truth that God is a restorer. He sees your pain, and He cares deeply about the struggles you're facing. Just as He restored Job's fortunes twofold after his time of intense testing and loss, God wants to bring restoration and redemption to the areas of your life that have been damaged or destroyed. In the Bible, Job was a righteous man who feared God, yet he faced unimaginable hardship. He lost his children, his wealth, and his health. He was in deep anguish, and even his friends accused him of wrongdoing. But through it all, Job never lost his faith in God. He declared, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that in the end, he will stand on the earth. And just as Job held fast to his trust in God's goodness, I encourage you to cling to hope even in the midst of your trials. God has not forgotten you. He is working behind the scenes to turn your mourning into dancing and your sorrow into joy. 
He is the God of redemption, and He specializes in bringing beauty from ashes. Your loss and disappointment do not have the final say. God is writing a bigger story, and He has good plans in store for you. He is able to restore what the enemy has stolen and bring new life to the broken places. He can heal your wounds, mend your broken heart, and give you a fresh start. So don't lose heart, my friend. Keep pressing into God's presence and pouring out your heart to Him in prayer. Meditate on His promises in Scripture and declare them over your life. Surround yourself with fellow believers who can encourage you and remind you of God's faithfulness. As you trust in God's redeeming power, He will strengthen you to rise above your circumstances. He will give you the courage to keep moving forward, even when the path ahead seems uncertain. And in His perfect timing, He will bring restoration and blessing that far exceeds anything you could ask or imagine. Remember, you are not alone in this battle. God is fighting for you. And He will not rest until He has restored every broken piece of your life. He is the God of hope. And He will fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him. So keep holding on to faith, knowing that your Redeemer lives and that He is working all things together for your good. Your hard times will not last forever, and God's restoration is on the way. Trust in His unfailing love, and let His peace guard your heart and mind as you walk through this season. Better days are ahead, and God will bring beauty from the ashes of your pain. Number 9. In the midst of life's most challenging moments, when the storms of adversity rage around you and the waves of trouble threaten to overwhelm your soul, know this. God is with you and He will grant you a peace that surpasses all understanding. This divine peace is not dependent on your circumstances. It is a supernatural gift from above that will sustain you through the darkest of times. As a child of God, you have access to this incredible promise found in Philippians 4, 7, which assures us that the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This means that even when your world seems to be crumbling around you and your mind is filled with worries and fears, God's peace will act as a shield, protecting your heart and mind from being consumed by the chaos. Remember the story of Jesus and his disciples in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4. As they crossed the Sea of Galilee, a fierce storm arose and the waves crashed over the boat, threatening to sink it. The disciples, filled with fear, woke Jesus who was sleeping peacefully in the stern. With just three words, peace, be still, Jesus calmed the storm and the wind and waves obeyed his command. Just as Jesus spoke peace over the storm that day, he speaks peace over your life today. No matter what storms you may be facing, whether it's a financial crisis, a health issue, a relationship struggle, or any other trial, Jesus has the power to calm the tempest and bring tranquility to your soul. To experience this supernatural peace, you must learn to trust in God's unfailing love and faithfulness. When you focus on His goodness and mercy, rather than the magnitude of your problems, you will find your heart and mind filled with a peace that the world cannot give. This peace is not a mere absence of conflict or stress. It is a deep, abiding sense of wholeness and well-being that comes from knowing that you are held securely in the hands of a loving, all-powerful God. As you navigate the storms of life, cling to God's promises and lean into His presence. Spend time in prayer and meditation on His Word, allowing His truth to anchor your soul and His love to comfort your heart. Surround yourself with a community of believers who can encourage you, pray with you, and remind you of God's faithfulness. Remember, the storms of life are temporary, but God's peace is eternal. He will never leave you nor forsake you and He will use even the most challenging circumstances to strengthen your faith and draw you closer to Him. Trust in His plan, rest in His peace, and know that He is working all things together for your good and His glory. Take heart, dear friend, for God is with you in the storm. He is your refuge and strength and ever-present help in times of trouble. As you fix your eyes on Him and allow His peace to fill your heart, you will find the strength to weather any storm and emerge victorious on the other side. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus, now and forevermore. 
Number 10. God, in His infinite wisdom and love, has a purpose for every hardship you endure. He promises to use these difficult times for your ultimate good, weaving them into a beautiful tapestry of purpose and destiny. The Bible is filled with examples of how God transforms trials into triumphs. One such example is the story of Joseph. As a young man, Joseph was betrayed by his brothers, sold into slavery, and unjustly imprisoned. Yet through each painful circumstance, God's hand was at work. Joseph remained faithful, trusting in God's plan, even when it seemed all hope was lost. In the end, God elevated Joseph to a position of great authority in Egypt. He used Joseph's suffering to save countless lives during a severe famine, including the lives of his own family. Joseph recognized God's sovereignty in his life, declaring to his brothers, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Just like Joseph, you may be facing trials that seem overwhelming and purposeless, but I want to assure you that God has not forgotten you. He sees your pain, your struggles, and your tears. And just as he did for Joseph, God is working behind the scenes, orchestrating every detail of your life for his glory and your good. Romans 8:28 promises, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. This verse is not a guarantee of a trouble-free life, but it is a powerful reminder that God is always at work, even in the darkest of times. He is shaping you, refining you, and preparing you for the incredible plans He has in store. So, dear friend, do not lose heart. Embrace the trials you face as opportunities for growth, knowing that God is using them to strengthen your faith, develop your character, and prepare you for the amazing future He has ordained for you. Trust in His unfailing love, lean on His grace, and hold fast to the hope that He will turn your mourning into dancing and your sorrow into joy. As you navigate these challenging times, remember that you are not alone. God is with you every step of the way, guiding you, supporting you, and leading you toward a life of purpose and fulfillment. He is the master potter, shaping you into a vessel of honor, equipped to carry His love and light to a world in need. Take comfort in the words of James 1, 2-4 which says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Embrace the journey, trust in God's plan, and look forward with anticipation to the beautiful story He is writing through your life. Your trials are not the end of your story, they are merely the beginning of a new chapter, filled with hope, purpose, and the unwavering love of a God who will never leave you nor forsake you. So hold your head high, fix your eyes on Jesus, and step forward in faith, knowing that the best is yet to come. God is working all things together for your good, and He will use your trials to lead you into a future filled with abundant blessings and eternal significance. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts filled with hope and faith, knowing that you are the source of all comfort and strength. We acknowledge that life can be challenging, and at times we may feel overwhelmed by the difficulties we face. However, we find solace in your promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us, and that you have a plan for our lives, even in the midst of our struggles. Lord, we pray for those who are currently experiencing hard times whether it be financial hardship, health issues, relationship problems, or any other form of adversity, we ask that you extend your loving hand to them. Remind them that their current circumstances are temporary and that you are working behind the scenes to bring about a positive change in their lives. We find encouragement in your word, which tells us that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Help us to cling to this truth even when our situations seem bleak. Give us the strength to persevere, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. Father, we trust in your perfect timing and your infinite wisdom. We know that you have the power to turn our mourning into dancing and to replace our sackcloth with garments of joy. 
We believe that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. As we navigate through these difficult times, help us to keep our eyes fixed on you, the author and finisher of our faith. May we find peace in your presence and comfort in your love. Strengthen our resolve to trust in you, even when we cannot see the way ahead clearly. We thank you for the trials we face, knowing that they are designed to build our character and draw us closer to you. Help us to view our hardships as opportunities for growth and to develop a deeper understanding of your grace and mercy. Lord, we pray that you would grant us the patience to wait upon you and the faith to believe that you will soon end our hard times. May we emerge from these challenges stronger, wiser, and more committed to serving you and others. We praise you for your faithfulness and your unwavering love. We thank you for the hope we have in you, knowing that you are able to do far more than we could ever imagine. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Dear friends, as we conclude this message, I want to leave you with a message of hope and encouragement. The evidence of God's presence and guidance in your life during these challenging times is undeniable, and it is a testament to His unwavering love and care for you. Remember, God is always working behind the scenes, orchestrating every detail of your life according to His perfect plan. Even when circumstances seem overwhelming or hopeless, trust that He is using these experiences to shape you, strengthen your faith, and prepare you for the incredible future He has in store. In Jeremiah 29, 11, God promises, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Let this truth sink deep into your heart and fill you with peace and assurance. As you navigate the journey ahead, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of your faith. He is your constant companion, your source of strength, and your guide through every hardship and trial. Trust in His timing, lean on His wisdom, and rest in the knowledge that He is always working for your good. Remember, you are a child of the Most High God, and He has a purpose and a plan for your life that is beyond your wildest dreams. So step forward in faith, knowing that His hand is upon you, and He will lead you out of your hard times and into the abundant life He has promised. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may He lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. As you continue to walk in His ways and trust in His guidance, you will experience the fullness of His love and the wonder of His miraculous work in your life, bringing an end to your hard times and ushering in a new season of joy and prosperity. God bless you, and may you always find comfort, strength, and hope in the knowledge that His hand is over your life, now and forevermore.